go, my faithful steed! To Lake Hylia we go! Yee! Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Lake Hylia is where we're going next for a few poopers here, and looks like Lake Hylia isn't what it used to be. It looks kind of dried out, and that's something that we're going to be fixing a little bit later. But in the meantime, the first thing we are going to be doing is going over to kill this thing with Epona. <laughs> I mean a no pay, excuse me. Yeah, you can just kill enemies by running over them. But now you'll see that the magic plant that I planted in the last spot, I mean in the last part, has sprouted. And woo, look at me go! Whee! And this takes you over to here. Huh? <laughs> uh, where is this going to take me, or where is this going to end up anyway? This is taking me for a pretty roundabout trip around Lake Hylia here. I expect this is supposed to take me over to the top of her house, and yes, I did look it up, it is a she, so... Oh, so I guess I'm supposed to jump up there as it's going up. Yep, da, 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 da. there we go. Now climb up here, and this will take a while. Oh boy. <laughs> Freaking crows! Why do you hate me so? Um, can I like... Yeah! Ah, there we go. I had to take care of that before I could climb up here. And... Come on, there we go. <laughs> up here is a little something something that you will want. Mm, yep, it's a heart piece. <laughs> I believe you can also sing the Scarecrow song, which I'll be getting in just a second here to get up here. Like where you see Navi turn green over there was a place to... Uh, ow was a place to make a scarecrow up here. I'll show you how that, that works in just a second here. And over here, remember where Pierre was? Over by the crops? Yes, this guy. <laughs> Talk to him and he'll be like, Hey, aren't you the fairy buddy I met a long time ago? Wow, you grew, dude! Well, here's your song. What? No, I never forget. You're, you're the one who forgot, aren't you? If you have an ocarina, play that song, baby! So, okay. Uh, hey, it's the ocarina. Play that song with it, baby! And then we go. A, 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 down. <laughs> that, if you remember the Scarecrow song that I made up, that was the one that's easy to remember. And he's like, oh yeah, that's it, that's the tune. You rock, I'm blown away. Oh no, no, I didn't forget the song. I never forget anything. But I just feel like rewarding you, baby. I have a good idea. My buddy Pierre, oh wait, so that's not Pierre. It's another guy, excuse me. He's wandering around, so play that tune when you want to call him. I'll tell him to help you if he's nearby and hears that song, baby. Now, <laughs> what you want to do is stop with the accent and just test this out so I can show you what it's like. Get out your hookshot. Basically, Pierre is a hookshot target, so to speak. Whenever you see Navi turn green in certain spots, that means that... Navi? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down. <laughs> That's like the worst song ever, but it's so easy to memorize. And look at that, Pierre pops out of there. Now what you could do is hookshot up to him if you would like to. Nope, wait. I guess I can't Z-target onto him. That's all right. But yeah, he, he serves as a hookshot target as well, basically. that That's the point of the Scarecrow song, and you're going to need it to 100% this game. Uh, I guess I need the long shot, but trust me on my words, you can grab onto him with the hook shot or long shot. You, well, if you can reach him. <laughs> now our next destination is going to go fish. Yes, we're going to fish again. Uh, is it possible to climb up there from here or will I need the scarecrow song? Probably the scarecrow song. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, down. Actually, I'm not sure, to be honest, <laughs> but I've got a wallet full of rupees, so I think it's a good idea to go do this fishing minigame for another swimming upgrade right about now, just because I'm in this area, and I thought I could kill off a couple of side quests. Is there any other way I could have climbed up here? Maybe I could have got up from this side? Let's just see for the fun of it. Hmm. 
doesn't look like it. It looks like I absolutely have to use the Scarecrow song to get up here at this point in the game. Uh, otherwise, later on when, I, when I'm able to restore Lake Hylia, I can just swim up there as I did before. You know, just and then I'd be able to just climb up there by swimming through the water and grabbing onto the ledge. But as for now, I have to use Pierre's help. Anyway, let's go fishing! If you recall, there's this guy here. He's like, Oh, hey mister, I remember you. It's been a long time. How many years has it been? Seven years? What have you been doing all this time? Well, kind of sleeping actually. I, I, I needed to sleep for seven years because of Navi. She woke me out of my nap. And, oh, I was just horrendous. And, yeah, he lost his hair now. <laughs> so this is actually the point in the game that you can take off his hat by uh, taking it with the uh, fishing pole. Actually, I'll show that now since I got a load of uh, rupees in my wallet, so I'll just do that for the fun of it. Yeah, I know how to fish. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I got my fishing rod, and I'm going to steal your hat. <laughs> what? What are you doing to me? And then he's like, hey, what are you doing? I told you not to do that. You're terrible. Seriously. Look at my... He said his hat is on the fishing rod. <laughs> You're a kind-hearted kid, but don't tell anyone about this. Seriously. Okay, now, if you recall, there was a fish underneath the uh, logs, or well, the dead tree that's sitting inside the water. And there's that very same fish in that very same spot. No, I don't want to Z-target onto the fishy. I would like to cast my line right across there because the fish is in the exact same spot. See that large fish down there? And I gotta, th I gotta say something here. The fish that you catch, they're as large as you are, yet they're only 20 pounds or so. Like, it's 18 to 24 pounds or something like that. I forgot the maximum size that you can get out of this. But anyway, you must get the large fish and it must break a record to get a thingy. Pull in the fish! Pull in the fish! I believe this is the one I'm supposed to get. I really hope it's the one I'm supposed to get. Come on, baby, we can do this. No! Do not splash out of the water. I need you to come towards me so I can get a prize. I need this prize greatly in order to upgrade my swimming capabilities and get myself a prize back at that old hag's hut that the scientists place back in Lake Hylia. And, and yeah, come on. Since the fish have grown, they're a lot tougher to get than they used to be, but just keep your finger on that A button and keep pulling against where they're going. Like, see, he's going to the right. I'm pulling to the left. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Urgh. Urgh. This is an epic fishing battle like no other and by far more exciting than any battle that I've had with Big Story. Ah, why do I keep bringing that up when fishing? Come on. <laughs> don't, don't even think about Big. You're ruining the game, man. You're ruining the game if you think about him. Man, this is taking forever. Am I, am I doing this right? <laughs> I think I am, because I think it's getting a little bit closer. Yeah, it's going left, so gotta go right. Wow, this is... Ah, I'm running out of fishing commentary. Froggy, where are you, Froggy? I need to find you, Froggy. And that's basically Big's personality in a nutshell. <laughs> Come on. Come on. I gotta catch the fist. Uh, I have to. Even though I'm aiming for Froggy, I'm fishing for other fists. <laughs> Big just doesn't make sense in so many with so many terms of the word sense. Ah, oh, Big is an abomination to the Sonic franchise. No, no, don't you dare turn. Oh, see, I think I am getting a little bit closer as I go. Just do not break the line, fishy. Come on, I'm I'm getting closer. Yeah! Now look at the size of this thing. It's as big as I am. Wow, that's a real lunker. It weighs 18 pounds. I don't think that's large enough actually I think it has to be over 20 pounds but that's the biggest fish in the place I think although there might be a bigger one in here sometimes you can find fish that are inside these weeds and uh, lily pads here that are a bit larger uh, can I let's just see the size of this one here maybe that other one that just ran off to the right side there is a larger one, but this is going to be much easier to catch than that other one. Come on, baby. Come on. 
Oh, he's flopping on land. There we go. Yeah, that's not, that's not nearly as big as the other one. No, I'm not going to keep that. Otherwise, it'll replace my larger fish, basically. And we definitely don't want that. Um, well, let's let's just weigh in here and see if that is large enough before I uh, go and try for the other fish. Because I'm pretty sure that fish underneath the log is the largest one that you can get. What do you want? Yeah, I'll just weigh my fish, please. I would like to, yeah. Whoa! This fish is huge! It looks like a new wrecker. It weighs at least 18 pounds. You told me that earlier. What are you talking about? My prize is... Oh! I guess I didn't need to get one larger than that? I could have swore there was a prize for getting a larger fish, though. But that, but that's the thing that I came in here for, was that uh, uh, gold scale there, so I can dive deeper. Let's talk about something, man. You want to try another lure? What are you talking about? Are you so selfish? Don't you know the old saying, a great fisherman never chooses his own lure? He's, he's referring to the sinking lure thingy later. Or the sinking lure thing that I can get. Biggest fish ever caught in this pond? Yeah, that's me, baby. Oh yeah, and that's my fish. And that fish looks a lot smaller than the one that I caught. Maybe it shrunk when you put it inside the uh, tank there. I don't know. But anyway, I am done fishing here because I don't think there is anything else I can do here. So I'm going to go over to the old hag's place and go and do the little diving mini game and dealio thing and get myself a prize within. <laughs> I believe she gives you a heart piece, if I'm not mistaken. And... Uh, there we go. Maybe I should have just cut ahead or something, I don't know. But I'm going to immediately dive underneath here. And you'll notice that your counter, since you got the gold scale, is now much, much higher than it was before. And I should be able to touch these rupees like that. And now you heard the jingle that indicates that I did something good. I'll talk to the lady, and she'll be like... I said, talk to the lady, and she'll be like, You may not have noticed, but I've been watching you. You touched the bottom just now. Fantastic! I'll give this to you. And she gives you a piece of heart. Oh, yeah. Slap it high, baby. Slap it high. Now, it's time to go back over to the Gorons. Death Mountain Trail! You may, you may remember this place. Well, remember this plant that I planted here? This is how you get this heart piece up here normally, but I sequence broke a little bit and got it as a kid by jumping that ledge up next to those bomb flowers that were up there. So now that you know how to get that, you can get that as an adult easily. And that plant there will also make a massive shortcut for you for a side quest that I'll be doing a little bit later on. So, let's go to Goron City here and look around. As a matter of fact, I'm maybe I'm not going to look around too much around here until I get back, because I'd I'd like to get over to the Fire Temple soon, actually. Whoa! But, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I would like this very much. Thank you. <laughs> I, I totally forgot that was there, but it's a good thing that I ac accidentally heard it's twitching around there. Anyway, now what you want to do is go up and find a little Goron rolling around along... Not this floor, the, the next floor up. We just got to go up one more level here. And that one right there. Meet him on the other side. Yes, I think you can. I don't think you have to get him inside the tunnel. This isn't like the uh, big one like before. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I actually got him there. <laughs> yes! How could you do this to me? You're a Ganondorf servant. No, I'm not. That's ridiculous. Hear my name and tremble. I am Link, hero of the guard. What? Are you impersonating me? What? That's... No, don't do that. That's... No! <laughs> Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster and Hero Link. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Yes, I do. He was the guy that did that crazy dance that I imitated. It's ironic, actually. After I did that dance, a few days later, I actually got a stiff neck for a couple of days. <laughs> so, actually... 
Yeah, I will give you uh, my autograph because I know you have something for me. So evidently I'm famous around these parts. <laughs> so he went to the fire temple and that's what we gotta do next as well. So we actually need something to get through there. Oh, don't cry. It'll be all right. Yeah, I'll talk to him. So what, sh what should I ask him? Let's, uh, what about the dragon, man? A long time ago, there was an evil dragon that was living in Kalvalvagia, living in this mountain. The dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Oh, using a huge hammer, they hear all the Gorons. Boom! Destroy it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. And it will come true. <laughs> I know, because my dad is the descendant of the hero. Uh, about the Gorons this time, everyone was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf has revived Volvagia as a warning to those who might oppose him. Ganondorf is going to feed them all to Volvagia. Dad went to the Fire Temple by himself to try and save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic, and this is what I need! To survive the temple, the Goron tunic, you can get it for free or buy another one, or I should say buy one, at the Goron shop at the bottom floor down there for 200 rupees, and now they will actually open the doors. So now, since you couldn't actually buy it because of the fact that those, because of the door was closed, you kind of have to get that one for free first. <laughs> anyway, over here, it'll be like, oh wait, actually I have to... Um, no, do I have to, like, pull it? I have to pull it, right? Yeah, okay. I, I was wondering if I had to, like, push it from the side or pull it forward. I completely forgot. Anyway, go through here. Oh, Link, it's so hot in here, we can't stay here for long. We are set to go. <laughs> Basically, this tunic is very heat resistant. In turn, that means we won't get burned to death from the Death Mountain Crater like we did before. Now over here is a thingy. I believe this is the thingy that we're looking for, right here. Huh? What? What are, what are these? Question marks? Um, perhaps I can't get there right now. <laughs> but inside that cave there is a great fairy's fountain which leads you to give you a magic upgrade. So I guess I'm gonna have to get that back later on when I get the Megaton Hammer. Anyway, over here, you want to grip onto this bridge, climb over, and cutscene starts. It is something that grows over time, a true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Bolero of Fire. Yeah, it's another warping song. I better play this one carefully. There we go! <laughs> There's no way I'd be able to play this fast. Ah, beautiful. Link, I'll see you again. You better not ninja your way out of here. Whoa! And then shot again. <laughs> Somehow he was able to start the fire just in time to prevent me from touching. Him. Well, excuse me, prevent me from touching her. Anyway, now what you want to do is go on ahead. Now you'll see there's our warping spot right there, and that's very important to us because the temple is right over here. And take a look at this off. To no, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Where is. I'm looking for. A dirt patch, actually, to show you. Dirt patch? Is that... Whoa, fire bubble. No, that's... Hmm. I, I, I thought there was a soft soil... Oh, I bet you I can only see it when I... Whoa! Poopers! <laughs> I bet you I can only see that 
soft soil patch when I'm a kid uh, because otherwise there's a plant that grows in the soft soil patch so it makes no sense to show the patch now but basically you have to warp here as a kid and then plant a bean in the soft soil patch and then you'll be able to get something from that anyway over here the fire temple which I am going to be starting in the next part I hope you enjoyed this part and I'll see you in the next part when we start the fire temple. Well, I should probably get in here first so I can just like, you know, have a, like a warp point. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. And now, P.K. Gant's rendition of the Scarecrow song. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.